This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of Nomad Royalty, Mr. Vincent Metcalf. Vince, how are you today? Very good, thank you. You sent the note earlier, and I love the way the note started. It read, it's not every day that you get to partner with Ivanhoe Mines on building one of the me best mining projects in the world. I couldn't agree more. Congratulations. You had some pretty important news this morning. Um, I would love for you to provide an overview of what the news means to you and the company. Great work, obviously. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. No, we um, what we what we announced this morning was a um, acquisition from um, uh, basically we're buying up Goldstream on the Platte Reef uh, project, which is operated by Ivano. It's probably one of the best PGMs uh, projects in the world. Probably one of the most impressive, actually precious metal uh, project in the world when you look at it as well, because there's so many different uh, metals. There's palladium, platinum, rhodium. Um, gold, obviously, which we're, we're streaming, but it's one of those projects that um, will go for a very, very long uh, period of time. It's a, it's a very, very long life asset. It's got, uh, you know, an over 30 years of, of life already. It's obviously operated by a, a major operator in Ivano Mines, which is probably one of the best things out of this transaction at the moment is the fact that it, it's such a good operator. It's such a good asset. Um, and I think for us, it's a perfect type of instrument for, for a company like Nomad, because you're going into um, a, a project that's going to be going through different cycles. It's going to be a generational asset, um, as Mr. Uh, Robert Friedland likes to talk uh, the, and, and talk about it, his asset about, is, is you've got these very, very long mine life assets that truly have uh, a, a, an incredible impact for, for the stakeholders, for the communities, and, and for the, the, the investors that own these types of uh, um, assets. I absolutely agree. It has been a busy 2021 for you this year. You've executed brilliantly despite a challenging market in the gold space. I think it's going to pay off in spades in 2022. Would you like, would you like to provide just a brief summary of the amazing work that you've done in 2021, you and the team? Yes. No, thank you. So what, you know, we've only been trading for 18 months. That's what people have to realize. It's uh, so, so, 2020 was very intense. 2021 was even more intense. Um, but you're right to, to, to point out that we've done, you know, three very significant acquisitions this year. So uh, with Ivano Mines today um, and, and the Platte Reef Goldstream uh, acquisition, that's one. Then we also announced our uh, Goldstream uh, on Greenstone uh, earlier in October for a $95 million investment. But we also acquired another royalty on Casaronis earlier in the year for uh, a total of $50 million investment. So when you look at those three assets um, and you also add maybe, you know, the Robertson royalty, which we acquired last year, which is operated by Barrick, you're looking at four incredible assets for, you know, what, what other companies would look at as, as company makers. Mm. You're looking at Robertson, which is operated by Barrick. You're looking at Casserone, which is operated by JX Nippon. And then you have Greenstone, which is uh, Equinox. And then uh, Platte Reef, which is operated by Ivano. All assets with, what we believe will probably end up running for over 25 years. So very long mine life asset, all near term production, if not already in production, um, because they're all within two years of, of cash flow or we'll say by 2024. So there's an incredible amount of growth um, within Nomad, but they're also very high quality assets, which, um, you know, this is, these are the types of assets that you want to be, build a, build a company around. $225 million in transactions announced in 2021. You're overdue for some rest, Vincent. Is there anything else that you'd like uh, to add to that before I let you go and let you get to it? Yeah, no. Well, 225 is a big number, but that was for 2021. Um, I would say that going forward in, in 2022, there's still a lot in the pipeline. There's still a lot of uh, very good assets uh, and, and very good operators to partner with. And I think that's what um, the investors have to, to to look forward to is I think we've proven, um, you know, what we want, what we came out to, to prove back in, in 2020 when we created Nomad. But now it's really about taking that leadership role within within the, the royalty and streaming um, sector and, and really showing that Nomad is here to stay. 
and, and here to, to 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 grow and to hopefully one day become another Franco or Wheaton um, and one of those 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 leading companies because I think there's a tremendous amount of space in this uh, in this sector. Um, there's definitely some consolidation to be had as well. So I think uh, investors should should definitely look at at the current opportunity because we strongly believe that we're still very much undervalued versus our peers. But with the recent transactions that we've we've shown, I think there's uh, there's a lot of merit to, to seeing that re-rating happen in 2022. Well said. Good work. Enjoy the holidays, and we'll chat soon. Thank you very much.